Hi guys, I'm kind of feeling the all black moment right now. Um, I just am getting over getting sick too, so my voice is still a little nasty sounding, but the show must go on, so here we are. So today I have an exciting video. It's kind of a story time and an unboxing. Not kind of, it is. So let's just... Oh, I thought there was a bug on the ground, but it was just like a hair extension. So let's jump into it. So I posted a TikTok a few days ago and a lot of people had questions about it. Basically it was a story time or a TikTok story time. It was about how my first boyfriend um, ended up cheating on me. Now before I get into it, this is not any boyfriend that's been on camera before, before you guys start jumping to conclusions and all that. This was a guy I dated when I was literally 17, 18, and he never was on my YouTube, so yeah, let's just get that out the way, um, because yeah, so it's no one you guys know. It's weird because this guy has the same name as my current boyfriend, so it's just very... I was triggered when I first started talking to my current boyfriend because I was like, I don't have good experiences with people with your name, honey, but he definitely redeemed himself. Anyway, so basically what had happened is my first job was at Kings Island. If you live in Ohio or know amusement parks, you know Kings Island, and that was my first job. I was so excited to have a big kid job, and my first job, I was I loved the fact that I was making so much money. I would literally, it was because I was working 12 hours a day as a 17-year-old, which I don't even think is legal, but... I would work at Kings Island all all day every week and then I would go to the mall on the weekend and blow my entire paycheck. If you watch my old videos, which I don't even think they're up anymore, I would do like Mac hauls and stuff and that was my entire paycheck from working at Kings Island. I was clocking in like my first or second day and I noticed this really, really cute guy who worked for the caricatures. Now, I didn't work for caricatures. I'm not a talented artist at all. My only talent is um, being pretty, I think. Other than that, it's like I, I don't have any other talent. I noticed him really quickly. Here's the thing too, when you work as a caricature person, your station is all, like there's stations all over the park. So I used to work at um, the Old Time Photo under Diamondback where you would like dress up as like flappers and stuff. That was me taking the pictures and So one day he was like working at the station that was right by Diamondback and we like just started Like I would leave because it was so annoying about the show I would have to go out and like have like yell for people to come in and so I could take their picture and stuff which was just really awkward because I'm not like a talky person and I had to go out and yell and stuff. So anyway, I remember doing that and that's when like we first no really noticed each other. And I thought this guy was so hot and so just fine. One day I was on break and I was by myself because at that point I didn't really have any friends that worked there. I had my best friend, but besides that I was like so shy. And so he came up to me one day while I was on break and he, you know, asked for my number and was like flirting with me a little bit. And so I gave him my number and then we started like talking and then eventually started dating. It was really cute. I remember he asked me out by drawing a caricature of me and him, which I'm like, I have no idea where that caricature went. I probably burned it, but... So anyway, we start dating. It's cute. It's it's very innocent because, like I said, I was 17 and he was 17 or 18. But the problem is, is he really wanted to, like, do stuff with me. Like, um, you know, like, hook up. And I, at that point, was not really ready to do anything naughty so he our relationship only lasted for like two months to be real um but I just remember one day after we had been dating for one or two months this 
person, like there had been rumors that he was cheating on me with someone, some other, with a guy that like, I think, I don't know if he worked at Kings Island or what, but like there was rumors about this one specific person with this one specific guy and I will never forget one day I got a message from like you know how it would on Facebook it's like new message request I got a new like I got one of those things that's like so and so wants to send you a message or whatever and it was that person and I was like my heart dropped and they had basically messaged me saying like that him and my boyfriend had been hooking up at the gym recently and that he had like found my like he had seen that he was texting me and stuff and was basically being like why are you texting my man we've been like hooking up for a while at the gym like why are you texting my man like what's the deal and so i was so no, number one heartbroken I thought I was gonna like end up with this guy but I was just so shocked yeah I don't even remember what I did I think I texted my boyfriend and was like is this true and get this he never talked to me again that was literally the end of it I was like oh my god so we he just ghosted me and then like I saw him at work but I ended up leaving that job not that far after because I was just so tired of working 12 hours a day as a 17 year old I was like I'm wasting my summer it's my senior year summer like I need to have fun yeah that that was just like it really was devastating to me at the time which it sounds like kind of dumb like okay whatever but it really hurt me at the time and like I looked this guy up on Facebook like my ex on Facebook recently and I was like thank god I did not end up with him let me just say that that's what that TikTok was about, um, because I know a lot of people were confused, but yeah, now let's go into the unboxing part. I am so excited for this. YouTube's really strict with what I can and can't say about designer bags, so all the information to where, who you can contact for this bag and all that is down below, and I will leave it at that. Um, so just check the description. But this bag, it's so funny. Nicki Minaj actually, ooh, Nicki Minaj actually posted this exact purse probably four days ago or five days ago. I'll put the picture right here wearing it. I, when I saw it, I gagged. Okay, so let's just get into it because I hate like a slow build up. So, ah, uh, Dior. I don't have any Dior bags, so this is, like, huge for me, but I am obsessed with this box. Like, just take a look. It's so, so cute. Dior. Alright. I, like, kept it kind of packaged just because I wanted to reveal. It comes with a strap, which I'll get into in a minute, but, um... The bag comes like this in the box that I just showed, and it has a protective wrapper that goes like that, and then it also comes with a little Dior, I don't know what this is actually, I think this is just like a authenticity thing, Christian Dior, cute, cute, cute. You guys, you're gonna die when you see this bag. Ah! Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, I love this purse. Like, this purse, <gasps> so cute. Oh, are you kidding? And, like, it even has, they're, like, wrapped up, but it even has, like, the little, like, trinkets or whatever. Oh my gosh, this is such a good... This is such a cute purse. Let me take off the and back. I took all the plastic off. They really protect this. I am obsessed. Look at this. This is what the little strap says too. You can have the strap on or off. And then the trinkets. I love the sound of like, watch out, I'm shopping. 
Um, and then the inside has this big flap to like keep it closed, I guess. Let me. Stuffing. And then the inside looks like this. It has the Christian Dior. And yeah. I am so obsessed with this bag. Like, I don't think you understand. I don't have anything Christian Dior. So. But this is just here. I'm going to take the straps off just because I prefer. I prefer, like, I'll, I'll put the straps on, like, if I were going out or something. But for the day, I think I'm just going to carry it like this. But I think this is going to be the perfect cruising purse. Like, picture me on a cruise in the Bahamas with this. Like, ah, another pina colada, please. But I am just so impressed. And this just looks so beautiful. I feel like even on camera, it's not picking up how beautiful and how good quality this feels so like I said I will put all the all the info where you can buy this down below and yeah we can be little twinnies they have a orange version of this as well which I was like this close to getting instead because it looked stunning but I just feel like the blue and white goes with more of my wardrobe but I was this close, and honestly, after having this, I might go and buy that one, too. So, yeah, I am really, really excited for her. Ah, she's so pretty. So, yeah. Put it right there. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I don't know what else I have to say. I hope you guys are staying dry you know it's so crazy we've been having a bear problem here lately like bears re literally yesterday just were digging through our trash can so i'm a little nervous i keep looking out the window like is anything there the jungle book what i don't i don't know so yeah i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching check the description like i said fifty thousand times um and yeah, I love you and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye!